Hey guys, hope you're well. So now we're going to start with integers. So what are integers? Well, let's go and explain that. So do you remember when we looked at what whole numbers are? Whole numbers. With whole numbers, they are the numbers that start at zero. And then they just go one, two, three, and then all the way up to positive infinity. So they don't, they don't go beneath zero. They don't go negative, okay? Those are whole numbers. Now, what are integers? Well, with integers, all that I want you to do is keep it like this, but then also just add in the negative side. So negative one, negative two, negative three, and then it will go all the way to negative infinity. This is what integers are. They are the whole numbers, and then also just go the negative side. Those are integers, okay? Something that is so important that you realize is that the more to the, when you, the numbers that go to the right, they are big, and then the numbers that go further to the left, they are small. That is going to become an, a, ver a very important thing later on. Because if I say minus 3, and then I give you the number minus 2, and I ask you which number is bigger, a lot of learners are going to say this one, because they think that 3 is bigger than 2. 3 is bigger than 2, but this is not 3. This is minus 3, and this is minus two. So if you had to look at these two on a number line, there they are, we can see that minus three is further to the left. So it is smaller than this number over here. But we'll get into that later on. But I just want you to understand that the further you go to the left, the numbers become smaller. And the further you go to the right, the numbers become bigger. So minus three is smaller than minus two. Even though the number three is bigger than the number two, when you are busy with negative numbers, then it's the opposite. Minus three is actually going to be smaller than minus two. But as I said, we will go through that in detail in this lesson and in future lessons on this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I want you to just tell me whether these are integers or not. So remember what we've said. We said that on the number line, we have zero, and then we've got numbers like one, two, three, and then it goes all the way to infinity, and then minus one, minus two, minus three, and then that goes all the way to negative infinity. So is the number seven gonna be on here? Definitely, that's an integer. So that's an integer. What about the number minus one? Yeah, there it is, so that is definitely an integer. What about 1.4? Well, that's not an integer because the integers are 0, 1, 2, 3. It's not the decimals in between. So this will say no, okay? Um, or it's not an integer. What about 0 0.2? Well, 0 0.2 is not on this over here, so it's not an integer. It, it cannot be any numbers with decimals like that, so this will not be an integer. What about zero? Yep, there it is, so this is an integer. Now, what about this next one? Do you know what square root four is? Well, we're probably gonna get to square roots later, but maybe you probably have done it before in earlier grades. Square root four is two. So if you look at two, that is an integer. Integers are all of the normal numbers that you can count with like one, two, three, but it's also zero and it's all the negatives, okay? What about two over three? Well, if you type that on your calculator, it'll give you 0 0.66666, so it's definitely not a normal whole number like these ones and it's also not one of these negative numbers, so we'll say it's not. Now, what about this? Now, don't just say that because it's a fraction, it's not. What is 10 divided by two? Well, that'll give you five. And would five be somewhere over here if you had to draw out the number line? Yes, so this is definitely an integer. So don't just look at that and be like, oh, it's a fraction. You gotta, you gotta rather calculate it and see if it's what it gives you. And then from that, you can work out if it is an integer or not. Now, this is gonna be quite interesting. Which number 
is smaller. Now, some of you might say that it's the number th uh, number 18. You might say that that is smaller because you're looking at 18 and you're looking at 30. But remember, this is not 30. This is minus 30. So if you had to look on a number line, we know that zero is in the middle and then all the positive numbers go this way. So I'm just gonna count in uh, threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, okay? Now if you go in the negative, it starts negative three, negative six, if we go in counting in threes, right? Negative 12, negative 15, negative 18, and then on and on and on, and eventually, whoopsie, eventually you would get negative 30. Now remember what we said in the very beginning of this lesson. We said that as you go to the right, these numbers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And as we go to the left, these numbers are smaller. So minus 30 is on the left. So it is smaller than 18, which is on the right hand side. So we will say that minus 30 is smaller. So I don't, because I see a lot of learners do this, they just look at the 18 and they look at the 30, and they say that 18 is smaller than 30. But this is not 30, this is minus 30, okay? What about this one, minus five and two? Well, as I said, a lot of learners, they'll say that the number two is smaller, but remember, it's not five, it's minus five. So if zero's over here, one, two, three, and then minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So can you see minus five is on the left of, whoops, on the left of the two? So this one's more on the right, this one's more on the left, and the one on the left is always smaller, and the one on the right is always bigger. So which one's more on the left? This one, so this one is smaller. What about this? Now this is a sneaky, tricky one, because they're very close together. So check it out on a number line. So if you have zero over here, then minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, and minus 10. So if you look at the two numbers, which one is on the left? Well, this one is on the left, and this one is on the right. So, the one that's on the left is always the smaller one, and the one that's on the right is always the bigger one. So let's just make a note here. The number on left is always smaller than number on the right. And that's for on a number line. On a, uh, let's just write it better, on a number line, the number on the left is always smaller than the number on the right. So minus 10 is smaller than minus nine. Now some of you are like, but Kevin, isn't 10 bigger than nine? Yes, but we're not looking at 10 and we're not looking at nine, we're looking at minus 10 and we're looking at minus nine. So it's different, okay? Now the last activity that I want us to do is just to fill in this number line. So I'll show you the first example, it's really easy. We know that after five comes six, and seven, and before that would be four and three. That's all we're gonna do now. We're just gonna do a couple of examples. It's gonna get a bit more challenging, but this is very important for activities or lessons that we're gonna do later. Okay, so um, we know that three and then four, and then what comes before two, one and zero. Now, what comes after one and then there? Now, what comes before one, zero. Now, what are we gonna put over here? Well, now we've reached zero, so now we're gonna start going in this direction with one again, but now it becomes negative. You see how it works in a number line. You've got zero in the middle, okay? So let's rather do it like that. You've got zero in the middle, and then it counts one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, but these ones are just negative. See, so it counts outwards like that and outwards like that. Okay, now here's where it's gonna start getting interesting. Some of you are gonna be like, mm, do I put 10 here or do I put 10 over here? And this is where things are gonna start getting interesting. And now I want you to make sure you understand this. So remember on a number line, it always starts at zero and then you count outwards. One, two, three, four, five goes on. And then here you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but these are just negative, you see? so. 
if here's negative 9, then what is on this side? Negative 8, and then negative 7. And then if you go this way, then it goes 10, 11. That's interesting, right? So when you are on the negative side, it counts in that direction. And when you are on the right-hand side, it counts in that direction. So make sure you understand that. Let's do another one. So if you understand that now, you should understand that 10 will be here and 12 will be here. And then they'll be negative. If you're getting it the other way around, then you need to go and just re-watch from the beginning of this lesson and make sure you understand that when it's negative, it's very different to when it's positive. Remember, we start at zero, and then we count um, one, let's put one, two, three, four, five. You see how the numbers go like that? And then when you go this way, it also goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. But then these are all negative. These are all negative now. Okay, so on the right hand side of that will be negative 10, and then on this side it will be negative 12, and then here will be negative 13 and negative 9. You see that. Let's do another one or two. I think this is the last one. Okay, so minus 100. So because it's negative, this will be 101 and 102, and then this will be 99 and 98, but they'll be negative. All right, so make sure that you go through this lesson again just to make sure you understand everything we've spoken about. And then as we move through the next couple of lessons, we're going to add on different things.